Hello again and welcome back to the Football Spy Files where we take another in-depth look at a Premier League side that you support and examine what they need ahead of the new season. Today it's the turn of Liverpool who I already think will be a force to be reckoned with next season. They may not have Champions League football but they do have the commitment of Captain Steven Gerrard, the free transfer capture of Joe Cole which I think is a massive coup and the team spirit which was a secret of Roy Hodgson's success at Fulham. So let's start at the back where Pepe Reina remains one of the best keepers in the Premier League, no doubts about him. At right back, Glenn Johnson for me is a better defender than people give him credit for, while we all know what he can offer going forward. Roy Hodgson also has made a move for the Aston Villa defender Luke Young as cover for Johnson, but Young can play in both fullback positions. The England under-19 international Martin Kelly is also waiting in the wings for the coming season and he could make a few appearances at left back. They reckon he is one of the academy's most promising talents. At centre-half, Daniel Agg is a key member of the side. He had a disappointing campaign last time round but he struggled a bit with injury and Hodgson's arrival might just help him to get back to his best. In the other centre-back position, it's the vice-captain Jamie Carragher who can play across the back line and about whom not much needs to be said. It's at left back that Liverpool are light with Emilio Insu a gone to Fiorentina and Philip Degen also being told he can leave. Carragher can play there at a push but Hodgson will want a specialist in that position and the word is that he's looking at either Wayne Bridge at Manchester City, Renat Yenbaev at Lokomotiv Moscow or the Swiss international fullback Rito Ziegler he used to be at Spurs. I'd have to say Bridge all day long but it's a question of whether Manchester City will sell. Javier Mascherano clearly wants to leave and will almost certainly join Rafa Benitez at Inter Milan by the end of the winter. But I don't see that as a problem. Lucas actually wants to stay at Anfield and for the money Mascherano would pull in, Liverpool could get a Scott Parker or an Eva Beniga from uh, Valencia. It's the forward positions that excite me at Liverpool because I think under Roy Hodgson there'll be a far more attacking outfit than under Rafa Benitez. At home I'd look to play a 4-3-3 with say Lucas Holding, Gerard and Aquilani in front of him, Joe Cole on the left and Dirk Kaut on the right. But I've got to admit uh, this is one forward line that I've wrestled with a bit, largely because I'd be more in favour of Liverpool being more in the front foot at home with a 4-4-1-1. I'll go Jovanovic on the right, Gerard alongside Lucas in the middle and Joe Cole on the left. Then you've got Torres and Kaut up front or even count in behind Torres. If you needed to change things you would then switch to the 4-3-3 and pack the midfield. Of the young players at the club next season, the likes of the attacking midfielder Laurie Dallavalli, uh, the former Charlton forward John Joe Shelby and Jay Spearing, all of whom are very highly rated indeed. I like the centre-back Daniel Sanchez Ayala who's huge and the Australian keeper Dean Buzanis who's shown a lot of promise as well. In short, I wouldn't write off Liverpool next season at all. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that I definitely think they'll make it back into the top four, particularly if they get another striker. And if they show a bit of ambition, break the bank and go for, say, a Luis Suarez, then Torres would have the support he needs up front and the world really would be their oyster. Right now, you've seen my Liverpool teams. Let's have a look at some of yours. This team's been sent in by Mark Edwards. The back four is as you'd expect, except for the return of Stephen Warlock. Mark's brought him back to Anfield from Aston Villa. The midfield's strong too, with good balance, and Aquilani alongside Mascherano. Then Gerard is behind Torres. I like it. Finn is in Tasmania, Australia, and this is his Liverpool team. He thinks the PSV defender Carlos Salcedo would be a great addition. He had a great World Cup and he does attack from defence, causing a constant threat in Finn's words. Uh, Cambiasso, as a holding midfielder, would come in a player swap deal with Mascherano. I like Van der Vaart from Real Madrid alongside Torres. And if Liverpool sell Torres to Man City for a good price, then Finn thinks Liverpool could use the money to buy Podolski and Huntela or even Adebayor from City. That for me is a good, strong attacking lineup. And here's another one. It's from Rennes in Bulgaria. The back five is as you'd expect with the Real Madrid player Royston Drenthe in at left back. The Juventus midfielder Christian Paulsen's holding with Ashley Young from Villa on the left. And although I'm not sure 
about Dirk Kout in the attacking midfield position. I could see him interchanging with Cole on the left and Gerard just in behind the striker. Now, as usual, I've seen your teams. Let's see where you think Liverpool will finish. Daniel Pacheco's got Roy Hodgson's team finishing third behind Manchester United and Chelsea. Don't be fooled by the name. Torres CR's top six has got Liverpool again out of the Champions League places. 757 Coop thinks Liverpool will finish even lower in six with uh, Arsenal beating Chelsea to the Premier League and City and Spurs completing the top four. But Andrew Leake's in Buckingham here in England and he's a bit more realistic. He's got Liverpool finishing fourth. Keep your teams and your thoughts coming in to us here on the 22nd floor. The Football Spy Files are back very soon. Remember to go to the Mirror Football website at mirrorfootball.co.uk to get all of your transfer news. And I'll see you next time.